Hello, welcome to today's crossword edition of Cracking the Cryptic. So, I'm sure some of you have seen Mark's uh, deadly killer Sudoku solve from the Times today. Um, so, I'm going to do um, the crossword blog. Um, today, we're going to do a live solve of Quick Cryptic. Um, and, you know, you'll see, I'll talk it through. So, it'll be, um, uh, it should be instructional or educational. Anyway, let's let's see how we go. Okay, remove from fighting of French unruly crowd. Okay, so uh, the way I got a handle on this clue is I <laughs> I used the classic um, you know French word that's coming out of this. So if it's the French of French. You know, um, what else do we see? French word, anything that seems to have um, a reference to French in it, look at the word before or after the French and see if you can translate it. So that's what I did there. I translated of French into DE. Uh, I came up with a three letter word for an unruly crowd, and then I didn't really have to do anything else. Um, you know, the answer fell out. So demob removed from fighting. Um, so there's a tip. If you see references to French in there, do some translation. Let's try and use the letters. Uh, city idol strange, that should be ringing alarm bells already. Meek quality. Okay. So, hopefully you're thinking as I am that this is an anagram of city idol. And then we need to come up with a, a meek quality. Um, for our answer there, which rather irritatingly uh, I'm not seeing immediately. Something itty at the end, I would have thought. Docility. There you go. There we go. And slightly unusual word, but very straightforward clue. Uh, so, nine across, let's have a look at that. Forgive swindle perpetrated. Okay. So here, we're helped by having this initial letter. So we know that the definition here is either going to be forgive or perpetrated. Um, so what's this word doing in the middle? Well, that's either going to be a synonym for a word appearing at the end of the clue or the beginning, depending on whether forgive or perpetrated is the definition. And I'm sure we can all come up with a short word that means swindle, beginning with C. So that's the place to start here, and that gives you a clue that the definition is at the start. Um, so let's put that in. Now we're looking for a word meaning perpetrated. Four letters, adding it onto the com here, and we have a word meaning forgive. Feel free, and I would encourage you to pause the video at points like this. Um, if you haven't got it yet, do give it some thought, because if you get it yourself, you'll remember it um, much for a longer period, I think, than if I tell you. So, pause. I'm going to put the answer now. Condone. To forgive is to condone. So, let down a narrative poem for singing. Oh, set down. <laughs> okay. Um, well, this is a double definition. Um, so, it means set down, and it's also a type of narrative poem for singing. Um, there's not much more we can do about that. I mean, with the starting letter, hopefully, hopefully you've all got it already. Lay. Two down. A large number drinking gallons, sick as a dog. Okay. Well, again here, there are two things about this clue that make it quite simple to solve. The word drinking in the middle there. Now, we're, always remember, we're looking for instructional words in the middle of clues to telling us to do something, whether it's to put a, put something inside another word or to surround uh, uh, another bit of wordplay with another bit of wordplay. Here it's very clear. If something's drinking something else, it's surrounding it, it's including it. And the next word is gallons. Well, gallons we've seen before. I mean, it's very commonly abbreviated to G. Now, obviously, with what we have in the grid already, this makes the clue trivial. But even without what we have here, uh, I would be 
pretty confident I would solve this. Four letter word for a large number, well, many, it's a very, would be one of the first things that I think we'd all think of. Sick as a job, dog, mangy. Um, so, nice. Let's go for three down. Secondary highway to secure psychiatric hospital. Okay, well, how do we tell which side of this clue is the definition? Not straightforward. Um, the way I got it was that I looked at the start of the clue, I looked at the words secondary highway and something popped into my mind. Um, now I appreciate that that's not desperately helpful to other people um, but I came up with uh, a couple of, well I, I came up with B road for a secondary highway uh, I think obviously helped by what we have in the grid there so let's put that in so, so we now know we're looking for a psychiatric hospital and I need a four letter word meaning to secure I'm sure we're all, we've all got it now Broadmoor let's have a look at this one possible Oscar winning performance when January begins uh, ok ok so this is sort of you know it's a pun um, the definition here is when January begins question mark and then it's an expression that if you read it you know it it's hinting at something that might win an Oscar um, have a pause and think about this it's definitely gettable it's not too difficult um, I'm going to put the answer now Oops. turn of the year so again we should always try and use the checking letters that are very helpful obviously scornful behavior inside or out okay so here one of the interesting things is I talked talked earlier on about the importance of instructional words in the middle um, and here we have what looks like it could be an instructional word in the word inside but that comma after after behavior is makes me suspicious because really to be a, a proper instruction that comma shouldn't be there or you know it's a slightly forced reading if it is there so I, I think that here the inside is doing another job what could that be well the most common form of cryptic crossword clue is the anagram so we should always be thinking about those and thinking about whether we can find um, you know anagram indicators and clues and here we've got one of the classics we've got out and there we have inside or, which are eight letters. So altogether, this looks extremely promising. We just need to come up with the right anagram for scornful behaviour. And it's going to be derision. Is it derision? I think it is derision. There we are. Um, oh, let's have a look at another long one. Sad seeing the Spanish repeatedly beat Germany up. Hmm. Uh, well, I haven't got this yet, which is a bit annoying. Um, and in fact, I'm not totally sure I'm seeing how it works. I'm suspecting it means sad. The Spanish repeatedly, well, Mark referenced yesterday, I think it was, um, that if you see the Spanish in a crossword clue, it's almost always L, so, but the Spanish repeatedly would be LL, um, so that doesn't sound like a terribly useful um, uh, a useful in indicator here. I mean, it could be the Spanish L, and then a word a repeatedly a word that means beat with a word that means with Germany up. Oh yes, I've now got it. Okay, so it took a bit of time that, and in fact that last and a passing of the wordplay is correct. So, so it's a tricky clue. It, mean, it does mean sad and we do need to make use of the L. So let's put that in. 
And now we need a word that means repeatedly beat and an abbreviation for Germany. And we're going to reverse those up here like this. So have a think about that. Um, I mean, Germany can just be abbreviated to G, um, but it can also be GER, and that's the form we need here. So GER. And now I'm sure we've all got it. Regrettable. Batter. To batter is to beat repeatedly. So a nice, a tricky wordplay. Very good clue. That could well appear in the normal times crossword. Um, absolutely nothing easy about that. Um, let's do this one. Managed most of trial venue in spite. Okay. So, again, this is open to interpretation. It would be perfectly reasonable for somebody to read most of trial venue, try and come up with a trial venue, shorten it, and put whatever they found there in a word that means spite. Um, but my tip for this clue is, is another of the classic tips that we've outlined on Cracking the Cryptic, which is that you need to almost think about every word in the clue um, and think about whether you can come up with a short synonym for it. And here, especially when we have this R at the start, can we think of any short synonyms for managed? Well, yes, ran. That that's, sounds perfect. And then, well, can we think of a word that makes for a trial venue and shorten it slightly and give us a word meaning spite? Yes, rancor. Um, so, yeah, again, maybe it's a bit of experience that leads me to to be able to dissect that one slightly more quickly but the thing I think that really makes a difference is just you know I see managed I'm instantly thinking ran and you know when they've got the R in the grid it's it's confirmed so I'm not really having to worry about the fact you could read this clue either way round um, let's have a look at this so part of bound ream that is not thought of okay well this is um, this is the classic hidden clue that we almost always have one of, both in the regular times puzzle and in the quick cryptic. Um, so have a look at what we've got in the grid. Have a look at the clue, see if you can find um, a string of letters that fit. You should be able to. I'm going to put the answer in now. Um, dreamt. So come here. Foolishly accept lies without first bit of evidence. We can stop here almost. Um, you know, we've got, we need nine letters, except lies is ten letters, and the word foolishly is screaming anagram. Um, first bit of evidence, that's an E. So we need an anagram of A, C, C, P, T, L, I, E, S. Um, and then, okay, let's look at the rest to see what it means. Unlikely to do that. Okay, so I think the answer is going to be sceptical. For Spooner, maybe, oh, this will be an interesting one. For Spooner, maybe, Scottish legislation um, might be a cause of speech impediment. Yeah, okay. So remember, whenever we see a, refer a reference to the Reverend Spooner, um, the clue is going to contain some some sort of spoonerism, which is um, a swapping of the first letters of a phrase. So here we need two words that might mean Scottish legislation, um, and we need to exchange the first letters, and we're going to come up with something that that might be a cause of speech and impediment. Now, I think the way to get this is to think about a short synonym for legislation. And there is, well, there's two actually, there's probably act, so that could be one, but the other one I was thinking of was law. So if if the construction of the clue, if we just delete this, the Scottish legislation was something law, then to spoonerize this, we would need to delete this L and put it at the start. Oh, my goodness, my case went too far, sorry. Oh, what is going on? 
there. Um, and, and now you can probably see where this is going. So lockjaw. So jock law with the um, with the initial letters exchanged gives us the answer there. Nice clue. Very, very useful. I mean look at these checking letters. We've now got a J and W. So this this should be uh, very helpful. So okay, well yeah, this is a, a fairly straightforward clue, especially now we've got the J. So, detective, inspector, and judge working where mustard comes from. Okay, well, it's very hard to see how detective inspector could be the definition here. I mean, I suppose sometimes you would see, see a super as a uh, used as a, a synonym for a policeman of some sort, but here the most obvious one obviously is to use the DI for detective inspector, J for judge, I mean this is, this is pretty true, so on working, there we go. Struggle in which participants keep discounting earlier deals. Well, I can see what I want that to be. Let's just check. Let's get this one first. This physician returned cash on delivery. <laughs> okay, well, this is made easier if you know that there is an abbreviation for cash on delivery. Um, and uh, if you know that, then this is a write in. So it's just COD reversed the doc. Um, I was thinking this might be either Great War or Trade War. I'm quite pleased it isn't because I couldn't understand why it was neither of they, why, how the wordplay worked. Um, so I have now got this. Um, it's another form of um, trade war, I guess. Um, it's a slightly odd clue to be to be honest, because it, you know, it doesn't really have much cryptic element. Um, it sort of it almost says what it means, which is surprising. It's price war. Cause of blue and black materials from the moon. Okay, yeah. So this uh, is quite a nice clue. Um, I think probably you've all got it already, especially given what we've we've got in the grid. It means from the moon. We need to take the, the middle letters this time, the cores of some of these words in the clue. So the core of blue is two, two letters actually, it's the L and the U. The core of AND is the N and the core of black is the A. And then materials right in the middle there, we've got the R. So lunar is the answer there. Uh, okay, let's have a look at this one. Fibres woven into underwear. Now, it's a... Uh, a very nice surface here, which is the only protection that the clue has against the most obvious form of clue that it, it looks like it is, which is an anagram. So woven, um, you should be immediately thinking, oh, can I find six letters to anagram? Oh yes, I can, fibres. Um, so we need a word that means underwear, anagram of fibres, pause if you need to, briefs. Polish gemstone lacking finish. Now, can you see what I did there? I deliberately misread the clue uh, because yeah, you, you could obviously read this as Polish gemstone lacking finish, finish as well, and that might help you more. But you know, it's very hard to see how you could read this clue in a way other than with the definition being either Polish or Polish, a four-letter gemstone which we're going to cut the finish off. Now that's again very simple. Um, right, fantastic fish, double definition. Um, yeah, there's not much more to tell you about that. Um, let's do these two. I mean, yeah, I think if you don't know this, this one, let's prove that we could get it by getting the checking letters. Right, okay, so speedo I rigged is only part of the story. Again, 
the word rigged there, like the word woven in the briefs clue, should be um, should be shouting at you. And when you see words like speedo I together, it looks like those letters are it's the actual letters that are necessary because it's such a weird collection of letters. So the anagram, the anagram obviously is episode there. Um, find a thread of singular type. Okay, so this is a uh, an interesting clue in the sense that it's there's an abbreviation in this clue that won't be obvious to most people who don't regularly do the crossword, I think. So um, I'll tell you that singular can be abbreviated to S. Um, and if you know that, the clue becomes quite easy because, uh, well, we're looking for a fine thread. The singular is giving us the S we can see in the grid, and then we're looking for a three-letter word that means type. Well, one option might be kin, but another option, because a fine thread isn't really a skin, is ilk, um, and that, that is the correct answer. So now hopefully you can see, even if you didn't know the fish, you could now probably have a very good guess at it. And a brill is a fish, so something's fantastic. It's brill. Um, okay. Okay, this is a good one. Uh, four down, uh, sorry, 19 down, four letters. Like a gift for the listener, spellbound. So here, it's fairly clear again, these words like for the listener or as we hear or, you know, one catches, that could be another one, as because you catch something you hear. Um, this is all indicating homophones. So we need, here we need a word um, that means like a gift. And, we, and when we say it, it will sound like the answer, which will actually be a word that means spellbound. So again, force yourself to think about this. Um, it, it's, it's one you won't forget if you get it for yourself. Um, I'm going to put the answer in now. Wrapped. Uh, so I like that a lot because essentially it's a shortening of a seven letter word to a four, which is, you know, I think that's, that's really sweet. Um, so let's have a look at this one. 20. Try not to meet a very old identity. Okay, well, we're significantly helped by what we have in the grid here. Um, I'm trying to think about, you know, other ways that this clue could be could be read, but I think that the use of a very old should be um, it should become second nature to appreciate that they are, well, the word A, um, or the letter A in the clue, actually I have got a good tip for this clue, and that is the importance of that letter A in the clue. Um, because if that A was not important, then it would be perfectly reasonable and better to write the clue as try not to meet very old identity. The, the, the A um, is if it isn't necessary, it would be superfluous. And things that are superfluous in clues are bad. You know, there shouldn't just be words and letters added to a clue that are unnecessary. So in a good cryptic clue, there should be brevity. There should be, uh, it should be as concise as possible um, in order to you know, meet the conditions uh, of giving a full wordplay. So here, let's, let's assume that the setter is a good clue writer, and he will be, he writes crosswords for the times, which is, you know, the very best of the daily um, puzzles that you, that you can get in the cryptic world. So, the A is necessary, very, obviously that can be abbreviated to V, and O is a very common abbreviation for old. So, one should be, I think, very quickly thinking that this is reasonable, um, and this is a, indeed a likely part of the wordplay. So that would mean that the definition is try not to meet. Well, I'm sure you've all got it now from what we've got in the grid. We just need to add the ID for identity at the end. So it's a series of abbreviations. 
but I think that tip about the thinking about the A in the grid there or in the, in the clue is a, is a, is, a, is a good one. Um, give color to odd bits of Dryden. Well, you know, again, when we're seeing uh, bits or words like odd or oddly or even or evenly or regularly in a, in a crossword clue, we need to we need to look at um, alternate letters. Here, it's telling us it's the odd alternate letters that we need. Uh, Dryden, and that gives die give color to. So I get that's quite a, quite an easy clue. Right. And here we have another double, double definition. It means land and it means foul. You've got the letters there. Have a think about it if you don't know it. And there we go. Turkey. So I hope that's helpful. Um, could go through the quick cryptic today. Let's check I've got it right. And um, we'll see you again tomorrow on Cracking the Cryptic. Um, Um, to give you, um, uh, in fact, I'll just just add one more comment, which will frighten some of you. So, um, Mark, or the very top solvers of this, will do it in about two minutes, <laughs> which uh, which is pretty insane. I think my best is about three minutes, um, but you know I can't even read the clues in two minutes. So, yeah, that's what we aspire to. Anyway, see you tomorrow.